So today I'm talking about a Toyota with the P1578 code, what it is and how you could go about fixing it. And so what is a Toyota P1578 code? Well, it's a brake system malfunction. And so what does this all mean? Well, basically there's what's called vehicle stability control or VSC, which uses different inputs from different sensors, the brake actuator, the brake foot pedal, different things like this to help the vehicle maintain vehicle control. But when you get this P1578 code, the computer's seeing some kind of problem inside the system. And so the dashboard lights are gonna come on and this P1578 code is gonna be set and it's gonna have to be troubleshooted to know why. The one thing to note about these vehicle stability control systems is that depending on the year of the Toyota, there can be different sensors and different things going on. For example, like newer Toyotas, they might have a radar sensor, but older ones won't. So be sure to keep that in mind. And so what would be some possible causes of a P1578 code? Well, the first thing I would do is I go check the battery and be sure there's no corrosion on the terminals or anything like this. You can even test the battery and be sure it's good and even the alternator output and be sure that's good because all these computers, they all need a good stable power supply. And if they don't, if they don't have that, then that could throw them off and just cause them to have problems. So the first thing I would do is I go and check and be sure that at least the battery cables look like they're good and that there's no corrosion going on. The next thing that could cause is that there's some kind of wiring problem or possibly like a bad fuse or a bad relay. So it's a good idea to go and check your fuses and relays and be sure those are good. The main fuses to check are anything labeled like ABS or like IG2, like the fuse here. But it's going to be a good idea to go check for any bad fuses or relays. And the next thing that can cause this is a bad component that's reporting information to the vehicle stability control. So this would be something like a bad wheel speed sensor, a bad brake actuator, or something along those lines. Usually when one of those components go bad, you'll get another code. For example, like a C0035, right rear wheel speed sensor circuit, open or shorted. If you were to also get this code, then it's going to be a good idea to go check out that right rear wheel speed sensor, do some tests to be sure it's working correctly, because the computer's not getting the information it needs to do its calculations for the vehicle stability control. And so if you're getting any other codes, be sure to pay attention to that. And the last thing on the list is going to be a bad computer. And this is going to be like a bad engine control unit, a bad electronic brake control module, or a bad ABS module, or something along those lines. If one of these computers go bad, then that's going to cause problems. Usually when one of these computers go bad, they don't just set one code. Usually you'll be getting like a lot of other codes or like computer codes, like U codes. But for example, like a U0121, lost communication with anti-lock brake system, ABS control module. If you were to get a code like this, then very likely there is some kind of issue going on with that ABS control module. So again, if you're getting any other codes, be sure to pay attention to that because that can help point you to what the problem is. But the last thing on the list is going to be a bad computer. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a Toyota with the P1578 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me. I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe, and have a good day.